I like this Brother call Hatem. is being recorded. Brother Hatem, that's what uh, Sister Janice, because she on the line. I just wanted her to know that I am not going to let her wisdom escape me this time. It's not going to escape this time. It, how what? you doing? Hey, how so, are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Are you on your computer or are you on the phone? I'm on the phone. Okay, cool. All right, cause so then I don't have to pull up the thing. I just read it. But anyway, um, I'm I'm attempting to run a 50 kilometer, or two of them, two 50 kilometers um, a month apart, and I'm training for that right now. Because one of the things that I have to show is if I'm talking all this, um, um, uh, I will conquer my self-imposed limitations. I have to constantly try to show that I'm breaking through some of my limitations. The 20 miles and the 26 miles are my limitations. So rather than just stopping at a marathon, I'm going for something beyond a marathon. I'm going to push myself beyond that so that I can inspire other people so that if I could do it, you know what I'm saying? Hell, if I can even attempt it. Because, you know, as a as a black man running running in these little barefoot shoes in the wintertime, that's, that's a barrier breaker right there. Now, if I do the 50, y'all going to know. It's, I mean, if I could do 50 miles in the snow, you could walk on water. You know what I'm saying? Hey, because the whole piece is, one, uh, part of what I'm trying to do is, is, is like, is, is 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 get people to push beyond the limits that that have been instilled in us because most of us have been programmed because we talk about education a lot but one of the major things that education is for is for socializing and if what the people or what the system is socializing is socializing you for is servitude one of the things they got to make sure that you are programmed with is a limit chip you know what I'm saying because if if you think that you could do more than they want you to think that you can do, you are a problem. You are a glitch in the system. You are a glitch in the system and you become a problem. You know what I'm saying now? Some of us are lucky enough to be able to make it through, you know, because they have a next level for some of us. Like, the next level for some of us is college. If they could, you know, boom, you was able to go beyond in high school. Then they put you in college. And if you're able to go beyond there, there's higher levels that they have to try to get you distilled into a perfect robot. You know what I'm saying? So those of us, those of us that was fortunate enough to make it out, we got to make sure that we wake people up. But most of our people, we ain't just, it ain't just our people. Most people only make changes when they, when, how can I put it, when it's emotional because because we could talk to you blue in the face about the facts. We could share the statistics. We could show, um, we could even show some, some photos and some graphs. None of that will affect them until we are able to touch their emotions. And when an individual like myself or, or Janice, we get out there and we do something that most people think that wasn't possible, or, or we do something that people view as, 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 as almost impossible. It gives them hope. It moves something in it because it's almost, and for some of them, it's going to be hate because it's like, dang, if, if he could do that, then I could put down these cigarettes. Uh, if he could do that, you know what I'm saying? And if it's hate that motivates you, hell, I'm with that too. You know what I'm saying? So go, you know, hate on me or, or build with me, do whatever is necessary. But the camping trip, once again, back to that, the camping trip was marvelous. And, and, I, and, and I fulfilled another one of the challenges for myself. I ran from the capital trip home, which was about 12 miles. You know what I'm saying? So I'm starting to do this and really get into this whole piece. And, and one of the things I discovered before I get into the folktale, because I know, I know some of y'all waiting for the folktale, and then also y'all waiting to hear from Janice. But um, <laughs> no, no, seriously, seriously, since you be dropping it, I, you know, like I said, I just need you to know that, and I missed you last week. I was about to try to drive to Detroit and try to track you down because I ain't know what's going on. You have yeah, my number. Everything is cool. I'm just struggling. Work. I'm, you know, I'm back to work. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Man. Well, I can't remember what I was, what I was about to talk about. Capital you telling trip. us about the camping trip? Oh, now, camping trip was marvelous, and a whole bunch of good ideas was sparked off from that. And I'm going to talk um, um, to, to Sister Janice about some of the ideas, because... 
um, as a fundraiser and, and as also um, something that can be done from um, a local level to really do some serious building in, 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 our, in our areas or communities or whatever you want to call them, right? So, um, but I can't, oh, you know, I'm jumping from here to there. But now, so we about to get into this folk tale and we about to um, pull out the tools and do some wisdom mining. I, I want y'all to get ready for this, all right? So I want you to, to, to get your mind primed, you know what I'm saying? So I did a little talking to kind of get your mind primed so that you will be able to do this. Those of you that are listening through Spreaker and you want to join the conversation, hit me up at 614-556-4535. Once again, that's 614-556-4535, right? This is Giami Journey. You're joined by Brother High Tim, and I'm joined by my, my fabulous guest, Ms. Janice, um, and, and she's she is the teacher's teacher. You know, now you got teachers, right? Right, but teachers got teachers, and this is the teacher's teacher. You know what I'm saying? So when the teacher want advice, they call Miss Janice. Right? They call Sister Nandi. You know what I'm saying? That's code word. That's her. That's her spy code name from back right. in the day. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> they call Queen Nandi when they got a problem. Right? But hey, we are about to jump off right now. And this is a, this this is a good one because we got a lot of brothers and sisters in this mind state, whether it's personal. And most of this, most of this I'm saying it, it, it falls on these personal relationships, these horrible, horrible personal relationships that we sometimes fall out, find ourselves in. It's called the farmer and the fox. You ready, sis? Yep. Yep. I'm going to let you jump in first because I don't read my mind for a little while. The farmer and the fox. A farmer who bore a grudge against the fox for robbing his poultry yard caught him at last, and being determined to take ample revenge, tied some rope, well soaked in oil to his tail, and set it on fire. The fox, by a strange fatality, rushed to the fields of the farmer who had captured him. It was the time of the wheat harvest, but the farmer reaped nothing that year and returned home grieving sorely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is where the term revenge serve code comes in handy. You know what I'm saying? Because this dude was trying to do something else. But go ahead. You want you want you want to cut into that one first so you need me to read it again? No, that you know I have this conversation a lot with the adults who are supposed to be instructing kids, and I don't say it like this, but this essentially makes me say, you're taking yourself too seriously, and you're hurting, mm. your, and you're hurting yourself in the process. Mm. You know, I, I um, remember the newsletter that we did out of the Black Cultural Center that was called Baraza. That mm. word is so powerful because it means no one person has all the knowledge. Mm. And so if if there are a lot of people, and so this farmer was so fixated <laughs> on getting back at the fox that he what? cut his own up, nose off the spider's face. So did. Yeah, so did. Yeah, so I'm still here. He could have eaten all winter. <laughs> But he in, he instead he killed. But dead and useful is different than dead and burned up. You can't do nothing with it. Now, hold on, because I'm trying to cook. I just got home, because you know I work in the school too. So we got to go And me and my kids just getting home. So from the kids here, just getting home too. Oh my God! My kids stuck at school with me. I'm not coming home and then going. I I I'm about I'm 17 miles from from the school. Oh yeah, so, you so you're not gonna be like, running back and forth. That. That's three dollars a piece, three dollars a trip. I got to, I can do math. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> so you know my kids were stuck at the school, and my baby daughter 
she just sitting over here playing with me, playing this frozen music in the background. So if you hear something, you know, that's me chasing her upstairs. Because she, go upstairs. I'm not playing with you. Oh, my God. All right. So now, now this, 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 this farmer, like you said, he fixated on the fox. And, and revenge. And he, right. And revenge. And I just read this. I pulled this up on Google+. Plus. As I was looking through my timeline, it was a quote by Buddha that says, you will not be punished for your anger. You will be punished by your anger. That's right. Some people, some people are so focused on trying to make other people pay, um, they never realize that there's always repercussions, even when you're getting vengeance. We got to understand that we 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 deal in the cycle. We deal in the world, or we deal in the universe that has reciprocity. So even when we take it revenge, when we take it too far, there's always some repercussions. You know what I'm saying? We 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 and we forget about these repercussions. Sometimes we think we are um um exempt from 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 the repercussions. Right. And 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 and, and we destroy. We end up destroying ourselves because we go above and beyond. To, to to belittle somebody because we felt we needed to get vengeance. We we go above and beyond to hurt somebody because we felt that they they tried to hurt us. You know what I'm saying? And, and in the end, we end up coming up short. We end up, you know, it's it, I mean, when I read this one, I was like, oh my God. See, because this one, this one is one that could be used by a marriage or a relationship counselor. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because some of us get in these relationships and we strive. I mean, I done ran into people who held grudges against people that they was kicking it with in 1989. That classic lesson that, in turn, you know, you would have to put this in context for these young people because their grandmothers are like 30 years older than them. But I remember when my grandmother used to talk about, my grandmother used to talk about, you know, because she was, of course, a deeply religious woman. She went to church five out of seven mm-hmm. days a week. But her thing was, you get back what you put out. So if mm-hmm. every day of your life you putting out good, she used to say, God is going to give you good back. And I mm. used to say that to my students. I used to say, so how do you think it works out that you can cut your tail in your classes, not study? go off on people, just be disrespectful for no reason, and at the end of the day, you think you're going to have an A in that class. How does that work? Ooh, I didn't even think about it. Oh, my God. So, and so, so that, you know, people really need to think about, because really when I'm working with young people in urban centers, I find myself talking about, you know, why is revenge so important to you? What does it net you? And when you ask the kids like that, it's a frame they've never considered because that many of them, because of pain, because of trauma, because of things that happen in the family and in the hood, they really, you know, <laughs> it's just, things are just too complex for these kids. Mm. Where am I? I lost my train of thought. Wait a minute. No, wait. No, well... Well, you said it's just too complex for the kids. Nowadays, right. things are too complex for them. And it's like um, um, because you applied it, not I mean, because you, you, you expanded on the idea. And now it's where the farmer is like, like uh, you compared the farmer to a student right. who, who, who I guess, and I don't, I, I'm, we still need to figure out who they might be. Who could have been a good student. On. Right. Could have been a good spending. student, but they get kept getting caught up in emotions like revenge, right? Which, and you you have kids who are obsessed with that negativity, and they still do well in school. But eventually, that negativity like takes over. Negativity, oftentimes with young people, is a lot more powerful. I think it's because it's easier. Mm. Yeah. You know what? Negativity is easy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's very easy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it, 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 I mean, it really don't even. Re- all it requires is emotion. It don't really require right. thought. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And, and what's crazy about the way the human being is set, the way we're built, we're built 
we're built to look for the easiest way. Right. It really takes it really takes discipline. Right. And 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 um in, in, uh, in, internal drive right. to go beyond um to go beyond the human mechanism. Because like for example, the body will sit around and and will prefer to sit around and store fat. This is this is the way we're designed. You know what I'm saying? What's the mm-hmm. easiest way for me to store fat? You know what I'm saying? So now you see in America, because we got this these diets that's based on art of, um um artificial calories, you know what I'm saying, and we got easy sugar boosts and a lot of carbohydrates, the body is it has discovered how to just store all this fat. Why? It's storing all this fat for emergency, not not even caring that it's killing itself. It's right. looking for the easy way. You know what I'm saying? It looks for shortcuts. That's that's how our memory works. You know what I'm saying? We don't remember everything, even though we had a capability of of, of having a photographic memory for everything. I mean, everything we look at. We got more than a sto- more than enough storage, but we're we're met, we're grabbing those things that are the most important and that will make it easy. I mean, that that will make it easier for us to survive. We're not keeping all the stuff. We're keeping mm-hmm. just the basics. The, the 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 easiest things to keep, right? Mm-hmm. So so for somebody to 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 push beyond, you know what I'm saying? Is is um is is I ain't gonna say unusual, but it takes that 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 person to be a little bit different. You got to be cut from a different different cloth. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and I I lost my train of thought too. Well, here, let me, I'm going to pick up right here. So when we talk about it, I'm always bringing it back to the piece. So when you talk about the farmer and his Mm -hmm. utterly emotional reaction, revenge really takes no real deep reflective thought. It's just really a reaction. Mm. And, And to not seek revenge, revenge actually requires a person to, for example, be connected to or understand or have experienced, um, like, forgiveness. Um, Uh I'm going to do this because I'm better than that. Um, Uh Karma is real or, you know, those kinds of lessons. You you put out there what your grandmother's lesson. And so that takes takes a reflective, thoughtful, like you said, disciplined. And I think a lot of that, really emanates from a place of, now I'm going back, I'm going back, but it still connects, to, from a place of a loving home, a home where there are conversations, a home where mm. people are allowed to make mistakes and learn mm. from those lessons. I think that that, because the farmer clearly must have been spending a lot of time by himself to mm. have been so focused on that fox. Why was that fox so focused? Why was that? so important to you because he was taking my chicken right well yeah okay you know what i'm saying I, you, you know what I'm saying? I, that's all i got uh-huh you know what I'm saying? so the, the so the farm was coming from a mind state of of uh what they call uh, a mind state of uh it's not lim- the word is not limit um uh, uh a mind state of uh oh my god is uh where you lack a, a mind state of lack mm-hmm. okay you know? i got you you see what I'm saying? Yep. Which the the basic the basic things that we talk about uh uh being human. You know what I'm saying? The basic human uh template. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Limits, I gotta protect mine and, and all this and striking out against the fox, he ultimately wounded himself. Right. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and, and the question I have to ask is when we bring it back to our children. By our children not doing the very best that they can, you know what I'm saying? Who are they striking revenge against? Because, like the farmer, they allow this fox to run through their, their the field of their life and burn up all of their stuff for the winter of old age. You know what I'm saying? This, this time is all they have, and they're acting like they got an unlimited amount. And right, and right now they get a they, they in some way they're getting vengeance by not not focusing on their studies, not learning, not not developing skills, and they tying the road to the fox's tail. They set on fire, and this fox is running around, 
burning up all their future earnings right, right now. Yeah. Who are they getting revenge against? What did the fox or what did the symbolic fox do to them? Who is the symbolic fox they are fighting against? Mm-hmm. To the black folks. That's my to question. Folks, to the black folks in Ferguson, who did you hurt when you uh-huh. burned down all those neighborhood businesses? Right. Who did you hurt? Right. Who did you hurt? Right. You know what I'm saying? And and I mean, and a lot of times by us not Come see, because really, I don't even think. I don't even think the farmer really understood who his real enemy was. He didn't even think that much. He didn't even think that much, like you said, because it was easy. It was too hard to actually. You to said it perfectly. See. He looked at that and said, "You killed my chickens. I'm finna get you." I'm about. I'm finna get Just you. like in the hood, when right. one brother does something to another brother, it's another brother that says, "I'm gonna get you for what you for what you did." Blah blah. blah. It's on and on. Right. We have a, to stop a, the cycle of no thought. We have to help young people ooh. understand their emotions and Wait, decipher. Hold, on. E- <laughs> hold that. Oh, I know you old like me, but you got to hold that. All right, for those that are on Spreaker and can't hear this conversation, come here. Sister Janice, code name Nandi, Queen Nandi, just dropped a term called the cycle of no thought. She said that we must stop the cycle of no thought, right? You need to join this conversation. Join us at 614-556-4535 before I cut you off. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all being here, but I, oh, man, I forgot that I could let everybody hear everything that I'm playing with y'all Um, on my, oh, uh, yeah, I done figured out how to do this. Oh, yeah, girl, I, hey, I'm coming with a different method. Since, since I can't get the system to do what I want it to do, you know, unlike the farmer, I like to think. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so I can play music and everything now. Just a little bit. It, it ain't going to sound exactly 100%, but it, it, it it's still it's still gonna be hot. Right like right now I could do um applause. Oh look <laughs> Right, see <laughs> And then also we got since since the teacher the teacher is here. You know, I got the school bell. School bell. We we'll have some more. We also got <laughs> all right. See, so I got all that. You got a little effects. Get out of here. Oh yeah. I mean, on 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 speaker, I got a lot more. So now let's bring it back. You said we got to stop the cycle of no thought. See, that's a hashtag. Cycle of no thought. Hashtag cycle of no thought. Let me go and put that. Let me push that out there. Oh man. Good God Almighty, girl, you dropped it. You dropped that one. <laughs> but go ahead, I'm listening. We just need to help. We got to, well, and I don't know how, the, you know, this really should start. I really think that to do this is what happens when people raise their children <laughs> mm-hmm. in homes with more love than trauma, with more books, mm. than, Jor- with more books than Jordan's. Mm. With more books more than books. iPads. Mm. I don't know. With about more that. hugs than mind. slaps. Huh. Yeah. Uh right, well, okay. I mean can that hug and slaps be kinda even? I'm just <laughs> Well it even, well there should be don't shouldn't there be more hugs than slaps? Yeah. You I, say I, it depends on the kid. <laughs> depend on the kid. Some of them need a, a healthy balance. You know what I'm saying? I love them, but they need a healthy balance. <laughs> oh, you know. But I agree. There should be more hugs and slap. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see. A cycle of no thought. No, that's hot. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm putting a hashtag out. Cycle of no thought. Just cycle of no thought. Hmm. All right, so now, um, so all right, so um, and you was you was talking about cycle no thought and how we got the you know I mean because like you said more we need more hugs than slaps, more books than iPads, more books than 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 pairs of tennis shoes. The, the bookshelf should be bigger than the television set. There should be some 
um, quality conversation mm -hmm. going on in the family about current events and and mm -hmm. um, and things like that. So, um, you know. We need to go back to the old school when families got together and played games, when kids dressed up and came up with performances and entertained their parents. Mm. We need to go back to the old mm. school. Mm. Oh, but you know that you know that 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 requires too much thought. That's too hard. Yep. You know what You're I'm right. saying? You're right. It's, it's 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 too hard, and 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 it goes against the human body. See, I you, what you asking for? You asking for people to actually. Buckle down and be disciplined, Janice. How dare you? How dare you? I'm not that's really so silly me. That's so, what? that's so politically incorrect. <laughs> what you know? the hell came over me? Silly me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I hey, forgot. Wait. Came... I, I forgot where I was. I, I'm sorry. I forgot where I was. I thought, I was, a, I thought I was in a developed you... super nation. No. No. <laughs> See, that's the new <laughs> You can't ask people to move above and beyond here. No, yeah, you silly me. That's correct. Silly you know, me. Everybody's just cruising. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're racing towards the bottom. You ain't noticed that? Mm -mm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. So sad. Everybody racing towards the bottom. So doggone I sad. I ain't somebody trying to break in my house. So I feel, I feel real sorry for him. You but said what you say? It sounded like somebody was trying to break in my house. Just then? Said, Just now. I think my daughter playing with so I don't know. I heard a door creak. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking. My door looks like it's locked. You know, but I, you know, like I said, sometimes I kind of wish for stuff like that. I, I hate to say that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All these years of practicing and running and staying in shape and, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and abstinence from certain things. You know, I, I sometimes I, <laughs> I just be waiting for a victim. You know what I'm saying? I, you, know, I just, you sound like the farmer. Man, hey, hey, I'm just hey. He I was just waiting on him to come back. Why? Right, I I ain't gonna set his tail on fire and let him run away. Nah, see, cause <laughs> you know, cause if the farmer would have just see because the peace, the the wanting to see. The, the animal suffer, wanting to see the person suffer. Right. You know what I'm saying? And in wanting to see the suffering right. rather than just taking what was his. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the, the fox was just doing what the fox does, but the fox was taking what belonged to the farmer. And the farmer should have just extracted justice. But no, yep. the farmer... That's a part, it's a part of being a farmer. You, you know, you're going to have outsiders come and try and take your stuff. Right. Right, and, and 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 you have the right to defend it, but you don't have the right to to torture. Right. You see what I'm saying? This is what, this is the mind state of the people we working with. I don't yep. just want to get you back. I want you to suffer. Yep. What? Do you? I mean, I mean, just the the level of 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 sickness in that. You know what I'm saying? And you probably ran into people like that. I mean, you might have did something minor to them, and they want to make you suffer. Oh yeah, I've I've known people like that, and it, it's just I mean, you know the quote, you know the quote, you know the quote, hurt people, hurt people. <laughs> right, right, man, and and, it, and it's and it's so true, and it's so true. I mean, oh my God, all the time. Uh, Speaker Mike was off. I'm sorry, Speaker. Call in at six one four five nine six one four. I forgot the number. What's the number? Um, hold on. Let me get the number. This is what happens when you get old. This is what happens when you get old. I, I'm sitting up here trying to find the number. I'm like, oh my god, I can't remember the number. The number is five five six four five three five six one four five five six four five three five. Six four five five four five three five. This is Brother Hot Tim. I'm live on line with Sister Janice, and we are talking about one of these folk tales and distilling all the wisdom that we can. All right. So, um, yeah, back to this farmer. This farmer was was looking for suffering. You know what I'm saying? This farmer, like you said, hurt hurt people. So the farmer was hurt. 
just like a lot of our children are hurt, and they're lashing out against something. They're lashing out against something that is not even causing the real pain. Like the farmer, like you said, the farmer was hurt. He's hurt people. He's a he's an example of hurt people. And he's lashing out against this this fox in a way that is so unnecessary. Right. And in, in lashing out, he loses everything. Right. We don't even know if he made it we don't even know if he if he even made it through um the winter. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because of his because of the way he chose to try to seek vengeance. Very foolish. But it sounds very familiar. Yeah. Sounds very familiar. Man. Yeah. Sad. So, um now I've been following I've mean, you've been you've been dropping some nice things on your timeline. Oh yeah. So you I mean you run in you run into um different teachers every day, obviously, so and they spark something in you, man. That's that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's just a genuine you know, oftentimes a set of things will happen and it'll just make me think a set of quick things to say that mm-hmm. I know a lot of people that are teachers find helpful, you know, a lot of oh, the time. Yeah. So, because oh, yeah. we all in this together, but like I said, yeah. this this uh, cycle of no thought, this has got to end. We can't accomplish mm-hmm. anything if people don't know how to use their brains. Mm. And we can't, huh? I'm sorry, dude. No, which is part of the strategy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cut off the head of the snake, the body dies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got a bunch of headless people, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's the truth. And you and you you know what I'm saying? You know how to you know how to keep the body alive. You got a bunch of servants. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Walking around with nothing in their head. It's something in there nothing. that thing just don't work because they ain't never worked it, it out. Work. It just don't work. And it then you look work. at the food that you feeding people over generations. And we shouldn't even call most of it food. Exactly. They, I, 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 somebody posted something up today. Said we eating food like a material. It's not even food. You right. Know what I'm All of our stuff is imitation. Right. And it, and it's, and it's getting more and more imitative. So you know, I, I sort of changed my diet for these runs, man, because I'm, I'm trying to take in a lot more healthy fat. Because mm-hmm. I'm trying to get my body to convert to burning fat, but I started realizing that I'm eating a lot of uh, carbohydrates, a lot of grains. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which, which is basically something that goes right in your system and basically turns right into sugar. Mm-hmm. So exactly. along with the sugar that I'm taking, I'm taking in a lot of carbohydrates, which is turning to sugar almost immediately, and is allowing my body to have a cheap burn. So now I've got to ask this question. If if I'm running my body on cheap fuel, because that's what carbohydrates and, and the sugars are, cheap fuel, if you're running your body on cheap fuel, what type of output are you going to get from the body and the brain that are, are fed by this cheap fuel? Well, it's, it's, certainly, it, not, it's certainly not optimal output. If you it's oh garbage in, it's garbage in, garbage out. Garbage, garbage out. You know what I'm saying? So then we think about and we multiply this by because we got some kids who may not had a, a may only get a fresh cooked meal if you even want to call it that during holidays. Yep. So Christmas and Thanksgiving, and, and maybe some of the barbecues during the summertime. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's mm-hmm. like yo. No, that's why this farmer can't think. This is why the farmer is burning, burning up the, you know, trying to torture the fox because he he can't even think. I mean, he can't even think and say, hey, well, you know, I mean, look at my fields. They they're nice and dry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna set this fox on fire and see what he does. You know. So. Mm. Mm-hmm. Or a foolish farmer, man. Hey, but hey, you know, we. I mean, because now I'm doing another show on well tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. That's tribal quotes. So we probably gonna take this one as deep as we can. I don't want to beat it into the ground. 
Um, also, like I said, I was going I was going to email you because I got to email you because you said you helped me because what I'm trying to do is categorize a lot of these folk tales mm -hmm. because we had this principal system that we um, use at the school, which is basically um, um, uh, the Nguza Saba. I just couldn't call it the Nguza Saba, so I just used English and 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 I'm just trying to um, categorize these folk tales so that not only when we're doing the folk tales, we could break down the folk tale, but we could talk about the principle that mm -hmm. the folk tale represents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of them have a certain principle that they represent. You know what I'm saying? That we can that we can add to the conversation. So um, for for teachers. Um, people that are working with young people or people even working with adults. When they read the story, they could automatically be like, boom, they could pick one of the one of the folk tales and be like, boom, this one fits right in with the, the subject of trust or faith. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or self-determination. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying right now? Right now I got 157 of them categorized. Oh, okay, um, good. Oh yeah, I'm not playing. I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna send I'm gonna send I'm gonna send you um the 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 piece where you read uh, cuz all you got to do is read it um copy paste it in and then just put which principle you think it falls under. Mm -hmm. And done. You see what I'm saying? And then mm -hmm. I send you a spreadsheet so that you go through them and say and you can organize the spreadsheet say, "Well, I want we work it on unity today, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. You got your folk tale that'll plug in with unity. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I mean just just little simple things, simple tools for people to be able to use them. Yep, that's what life, people you know? need, simple tools. Simple tools. You know what I'm saying? You you need you need to work on you need to work on unity. Here is folk yep. tales and then I'm gonna get into finding quotes and stuff to fall in with these, and then, you know, so when, when people go out, I'm just like, yo, hey, I honestly believe that our ancestors left us the answers. You know yeah. what I'm saying? All we got to do is be able to sit down and decipher, right? And to you know all the teachers listening, if you want to exercise the brain and teach children of color um, lessons about who they are and where they come from at the same time, you should use folk tales when you teach. Oh, my God. Oh my God! Ah, oh. hey, hey, you know, hey, 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 and then what's even what's what's even crazier, right? When you really get into the folk tales, you start seeing the themes on these cartoons and these TV shows that our kids yep. are watching. Yep. So now you got something to plug it in that's modern that you could go and expand your whole lesson plan on. You yep. see, because you know, as a matter of fact, I even t I, I was telling some of the teachers. I said, you know, um, if if you want to to um, to teach, I mean, you want to work with, on kids and they're reading, find out what shows they got. See if you can get the script to the show. And one, discuss the show, but then get them to read the the script to the show, because if they really into the show, they will remember some of the some of the Absolutely. parts that they're reading, which Absolutely. will help their reading. And then they'll learn how to dissect yep. a whole, um, uh, uh, dissect the, um, um, the the paragraph they get, you know, breaking it down and, and being able to see how different people write, you know. I mean, it, it's so many different ways that we could start applying some of this madness that our kids are getting mm -hmm. to make them, to make them, as you say, use their mind and stop the mindless, what you call it, the mindless the cycle? cycle of no thought. The cycle of no thought. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to start promoting our we got to start promoting this thinking for our children, man. If not we're like you said, if not we're doomed. Mm -mm, we really are. It's the truth. Oh man. Oh man. If if we're not thinking, you, you, I mean how you gonna be how how you gonna you know what I'm saying? How you You just gonna add not, to the mess. That's that's all that's guaranteed. You. You're gonna add to the mess. You're gonna be another casualty. You're gonna hurt right. somebody else. You're going to keep the trajectory going the wrong way. Mm. <laughs> we need humanity needs a win. So everybody needs mm. to be putting good, positive, winning stuff out there. Keep all that negativity in a box. Oh my God. Yeah. 
and oh, well, they do try to keep it in a box. It's called Facebook. Yeah, um, there you go. There you go. <laughs> all right, hey, but I want to thank you for um for uh joining us tonight. You are a marvelous guest. <laughs> You are the bomb. You are the bomb. And, and and with that, and with that, the teacher's teacher and brother High Tim says peace. Peace. Y'all have and a good blessings. night. Talk to you later. That's right. Peace. Class is over. Peace. Mm-hmm.